welcome back to my youtube channel basic or service now learning if you are new to my channel then you can subscribe now or you can subscribe it later once you get the required information so let's begin so in today's video we are going to talk about affected cis and impacted cis so why we are talking about affected cis and impacted cis let's see so friends i believe you all have seen change request right so at the bottom of change request see here we have two tabs the first one is affected ci and the another tab is impacted ci so what all cis are listed under this tab affected ci and what all cis are listed under impacted services and cis tab and what is the importance of those cis right so in this video we are going to talk about that so before we start with that let me give you a brief understanding of ci first so friends we refer ci as configuration item a configuration item is an infrastructure element service component or any other item that needs to be managed in order to ensure the successful delivery of a service for example hardware components software component etc each CI has several characteristics like classification, attributes, relationship, an owner, and a status value. Let me give you a brief of the same. So as in the change request, in the affected CI, we have a configuration item. Let me open this. See, so as I have said in the definition that each CI has several characteristics like name, asset tag, manufacturer, asset ID, company, model classifications, let's say model number, operating system, RAM, CPU, speed, right? And attributes, right? Even though the relationships, so here, see, related item where it says that this particular CI runs on this particular CI and this particular ci is used by these two ci even though you can also see the relationship in dependency view here we have a dependency view button you can click over here see here you will be seeing a dependency see here means each and every ci is related to another ci or is in a relationship with another ci let's say if something happened to one of the ci then what will happen to another one right let's say if this ci is removed then what will happen to this one right so in this video we are going to talk about that only that affected one and the impacted one so let's talk about the important topic that is affected ci and impacted ci so let's assume that we have a ci that is web application and we have another ci that is server so these two cis have a relationship and the relationship is hosted on means this web application is basically hosted on server ci right so let's say if there is a change in this server ci then in it may impact the functionality and availability of the web application ci right let's say there is a change where server has to upgrade currently it is of 100 terabyte it has to be upgraded to 1000 terabyte so in case if that change will took place then this web application may be impacted in terms of functionality in terms of availability right so which means there the ci where the changes has to be performed is said to be a affected ci right the word affected meaning is that cause a change in some or something means the ci where the change has to be caused right that is affected ci and the ci which is directly or partially affected by something right especially negative way that is impacted ci right so the changes has to be done on this but anyhow this is getting impacted for example there are some other things which are basically hosted on server and if if there is something which happened to server server is down then all those cis which are hosted on server gets impacted right so in affected ci all the cis will be listed where the change is required and in impacted services and ci all those cis are listed which are impacted by the change of this affected ci right i believe now you have a understanding of both types of ci right even though i have also given a one liner definition that is affected ci 
the CI where some changes has to be done. Impacted CIs, the CIs which is directly, indirectly or partially affected by the CI whom it dependent in any way, right? So I believe now the difference between both the CIs is cleared. So friends, this is all for this video. If you got the required information, then please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you friends. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.